You're <laughs> fuck, bro. What's good, by the way, kids? We got another edge video cat today. We got true haunted mansion horror story anime. Forget to make sure you like, comment, new to channel, subscribe. We make sure we're at the next video. Shane Terry, the haunted mansion. I'm Kenneth, and this is my story in which me and my friends visited a haunted mansion. Well, why would you do that? I would assume so. I'm 21 now, but this story happened when I was 14. My friends were crazy about horror stories and haunted houses. So one day we decided to visit a haunted mansion, which was near our school. So we left early and went there. Oh, I forgot to introduce my friends. They were Jeff and Jack. Okay, so when we got there, we tried to quietly enter the house, but the doors were rusty and they made a lot of sound. After finally getting in, the first thing we laid eyes on was a painting of a child. And That's daughter. creepy. So Jeff explained the story of both. By the time the child was in seventh grade, he was struggling to keep up with school. So whenever he received low marks, his father would take him to the basement and beat him with his cane. What the fuck with a cane? What the? the was fed up with oh shit! I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Be honest with you. It's that white people shit, bro. Let's go keep a thousand you, bro. Like, niggas, that's black people. <coughs> we would never do some shit like this, bro. Like, you white people be the ones calling the cops on your parents, beating your parents, yelling at your parents, nigga. Killing, like, what the fuck, bro? You guys got to get a hold of yourselves, nigga, down. After a few days, fuck, that's fuck. noticed the father hadn't left the mansion, so they decided to check it out. When they went in, they saw the father's body and got scared and ran out of the mansion. Then, the doors closed automatically behind them. Now, people say that in the night, they hear a boy crying or laughing and saying, I need revenge. That's fucked. Why are you still in there, bro? No, you do not, bro. We decided to visit the basement last, so we checked all the rooms on the ground floor first. For what? What are you looking for? In the first and second room, but in the third room, which was the last, we found some books with splashes of dried blood on them. Don't touch that yeah, shit, bro. Ran out of the room. Leave. We decided to go to the first floor, and when we found the stairs, we heard a noise, but we all agreed it was nothing. When we reached the first floor, the doors and windows started opening. And yeah, you got me fucked up, bro. We got scared, and then we heard malevolent laughing and a creepy voice that said, "I." Revenge. Then we ran to the door, but it was closed tight. So we tried to push the door, but it would not open. Yeah, you got me fucked up, bro. There was a broken window near it, so we jumped through it and ran to the nearby road. As we stopped to catch our breath, Jack pointed to a window on the mansion. When we looked, we saw a boy there. Fuck that shit, nigga. We ran away from there as fast as possible. We didn't tell anyone about this incident. Fuck that shit. 